This is another test that I did wearing the same mask, um, yeah. doing a couple of different types of gestures that generally in the past would have yeah. broken. Yeah. Um, By the way, can you just pause it right there where you had your hand over your ha over part of your face? Right there. Perfect. Okay. So this is a good example of where the deep fake. So what are you seeing, by the way? Those dots on your face is the deep fake technology that is tracking your eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, and your um, chin, um, ear down to, to the bottom. And it has a, a and it's actually doing this in 3D, right? So it actually has a three dimensional model, and then it's putting that onto your face. And notice that when you've occluded your eyebrow and your left eye. It knows where it is. In fact, it's amazing, right? And why does it do that? Because it started with a three-dimensional model, a, a mask of you, and it says, okay, I know where her right eye is and her nose and her mouth and her chin are up to here, and so I can simply infer where there's the, there, this is. And the reason is that your face is obviously not perfectly rigid, right? You can do this. But it's not like I could do, you know, <laughs> like drag my eye out to here, once you know where this part of the face is, you've got a pretty good prediction here. And so when you do this, a couple of things are happening. It's not losing the face tracking, and it knows that it can't see the eyebrow and the eye because it doesn't look like an eyebrow and an eye. And so now when it fills in the face, your hand doesn't have an eyebrow and an eye on it the way it used to because it knows that it's being occluded. If you move in through the video a little bit, we'll see what, why that is. What you're seeing here is, first of all, the glasses are, it knows it's not part of your face. And the reason it needs to know that is that when it's painting a new face on you, you don't want to paint it over the frames of the eye, right? That's not, that, eyeglasses rather. Um, and so anytime you are going to occlude your face, you're going to see black. And by the way, what's going on with the eyes and the mouth? Oh, there you saw a failure. Right. So yep. when you went really extreme down, really extreme up, by the way, that will probably be fixed uh, in three months. Um, so this and this is because this is when you move your eyes, when you blink your eyes and move your mouth, that's very special. It has to respect that. So it knows where your eyes and your mouth are. And then the face is where it's painting the texture of the different identity. Mm -hmm. And then whenever like your glasses, your hands, it's like, ah, that's an occlusion because it doesn't look like what I expect it to look like. And then it simply doesn't paint. Back in the day, by the way, when you put your hand in front of your face, you'd see the mouth on top of the hand. It was super creepy. And now it's simply what's called occlusion aware. Um, and so, for example, if you, were if you had covered your face with a microphone, it would know that the microphone is in front of you, and it would just be aware of it. And this is the light test. And the lighting test, right. So now it's aware that, so what you're doing is moving your, um, the light of your camera around and it will change the illumination of your face. Um, so not only is it aware of your features and of occlusion, it knows the illumination of the scene and it, and it maps that into the deep fake as well, which is amazing.